Hello friends, we are going to Pripyat on electric bikes. We will be the first to do this. This time we aren't going there just for fun. This time we are going to launch the Ferris wheel for real. And try it. And also we will put electric light in the abandoned flat in Pripyat. What is happening? It's done guys. I don't believe but we made it. Turn it on. The ball pop. Try it again. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it! Look! It is going to burn! It's burning! The wire is smoking! I can't turn it off! Oh my! Holy light! Crazy! Alex is crazy! We made it! And I can't believe this, really! Right now we are trying hard to find out how to make this Chernobyl Ferris wheel working. We had to find the working twin of the Chernobyl wheel to look at the mechanism and its build. There is the heart of it. All the bells here are on their place. And the motor isn't really big. Maybe it's 5 or 6 kilowatts. No, no, it's just 2.5. Really? We are going to attach here just 1.5 kilowatts motor. I see, it can be attached from below. Chernobyl Ferris wheel is a real copy of it, but it has no motor. Stalkers might steal it. How are we gonna launch it? We have bikes for 1.5 kilowatts. Pipit could have just the same Ferris wheel if the explosion never happened. We have to connect the bike to the Ferris wheel. And that is why we have created this sprocket of chaos. We're gonna put it in the reducer of the Ferris wheel and fasten it with these bolts. Then we're gonna use four bicycle chains and connect these chains right to our bike. That is why we have added another sprocket right here, instead of brake disc. So we'll turn the bike around, fasten its frame well to Pripyat Ferris wheel and turn the throttle. The torque from the motor will be transmitted to the reducer and this must be enough to launch this Ferris wheel. If anything goes wrong, I mean mechanism failure, or if it cannot be fixed, we have plan B. And plan B is hidden in this sack. I think you already know what I mean. Plan B will make the ferris wheel working for sure. And this time we've taken lots of wires to put the electric light in the abandoned stalker flat in Pripyat. I'm going to take a high frequency wire line here to minimize the losses and install the reducing transformers right on the roof. This idea sounds cool, but we will see what we can do. Now we are buying some food for three days of our expedition. There are no shops in Pripyat. Anthony is shocked by low prices. He said the price is really low. That is so cheap, it's just half a buck. Can you imagine that? As you see, I have a sweet tooth. We're gonna have sweet life in Pripyat, right? Hey, you sit on your chocolate. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I like this kind of shopping, guys. <laughs> You're crazy, guys. How can you take tea in the zone? Just 25 tea bags. People mostly go in the zone illegally. Imagine if meet some police. I mean, good cops. We're gonna be open-hearted and say, Hey, welcome to this cozy house. Maybe you want some tea and chocolate? Yeah, it is tea time. Hey, welcome to the dead city. Hey, I do observe radiation well. But Anthony might have mixed the headwear section. I can just tie it and go. My brain will not die from radiation. To be honest, we are searching for some vodka. Not for us. Sure, it is not for drinking. The thing is, we have a plan. If the apocalypse happens, we can stay here and drink forever. For entire life. Too much booze here. Just look at it. We've taken so much things. Do you accept cards? Is that alcohol free? I can't see it well. This all cost us $70. Look at the check. That's for police. For us. This is just hardcore, guys. No bags, just the trunk. It is just simple as that. Calm down, dude, it's okay. Breathe in and out. I know him. I know you. You're the blogger and you make experiments. Do you like these videos? Oh yeah, they're awesome. Especially with patterns. That's it. Good luck. We need to warm up well before we go. Hey, it's not fair. Is that wrestling? I guess so. 
There are some rules still. Let's get out of here. That's it? Did he win? Yeah. I thought we were just fooling around. Nice fight. Do not mess with him. To be honest, I'm exhausted. While I was going here, I almost lost consciousness. I'm powerless. I'm not sure about going. I think you're okay. I'm not. I take so many pills. From radiation? I've got a surprise here. Anabolics? Oh my, what is that? It is synthol. All of you must drink it. We're gonna get much power from it? Oh yeah. You're gonna become wild. Is that vitamin B? Yeah, you need this one too. Oh my. Ascorbic acid with glucose. That is not BCAA. And this isn't ascorbic. What? That is just a shell, dude. What the hell is that now? You're going to find it out soon. We have finally... Two at once? Have you seen this crazy? Look here, it's going to be fun. Get some, Anthony. We have placed all the food like this, to distribute it among the bags. The heavier thing here is a box of water. So we took a couple of bottles. So we have to buy some more. We're going to carry plenty of tools and so on for the Ferris wheel. Some of it in the bag already. We need to hide all the reflectors and reflective elements. To go undetected in the zone. I'm using black scotch tape for it. Pedal's ready. The zone never forgives mistakes. Let's see who has the heaviest bike. You didn't pick it up. You didn't. How you are going to carry it, Alex? Just try it. You don't carry it yet. You will never make it there. It's gonna be okay, I'm a specialist. 30 kilograms. <laughs> 30 kilograms is okay. <laughs> We're going to put it on the bikes, aren't we? Not on the back? Sure thing. We will tie it to the luggage carriers. Yeah, okay. We're waiting now. Yes, it is. Meet our new guide, Dmitri. 970, right? Okay, there you go. I hope he's not going to lose us in the forest, unlike the last time. They're going to pick us up. You ordered a car, aren't you? Yeah. The last one. It's absolutely okay. Perfect. Well, friends, it's getting dark and we are getting closer to the Chernobyl zone. That is going to be cool. That is the official checkpoint for the official excursions. We aren't going there. We are stalkers. They aren't going to like what we're gonna film there. You wanna go there? Let's move, let's move from here. We were too close, really. So close. That would be epic if we just went through the gate. Boom. But we aren't going there. Yeah, we are simple, guys. We are going to try the simplest way in. But first we need to check out if anyone is there. Lights off. The place is near. We have never tried to go like this, by car. Isn't it too catchy? No one gonna see us. There we are. But we must check the way first. Dmitry is going to check out the way in. He will see if there is a way or not. And this time it is extremely important for us to stay unseen, guys, because security will unlikely be friendly. And they will take away our bikes and camps. And delete the video that we are making for you. He speaks in a whisper. He's listening. Someone may be hiding there. It frightens me. Security may be walking or talking here. He's just listening. And the driver went in there to check out what's happening. They are doing it for us to help us to get inside the zone, safely and undetected. That is really cool. The guys have searched the place. It's all good. We're getting out of the bikes and we have an awful lot of bags there. Because we have big plans. And we need plenty of tools to accomplish them. Scotch tape is a lifesaver. Hello, mom. This is hard overload. Just look at our bikes. All covered in scotch tape. You told that scotch tape is not reliable. It is reliable, guys. Turning on the night mode. I don't know if you can see us well. We are locked and loaded. Now we are deciding what road we are going to use. If we go through Chernoi and turn to the box next, we are going to enter the zone. And I feel like someone is watching us. Can you show me? Not really, we have to. Anton! Do you see the light here? Over here on the cam. I can barely see two dots here. They are barely seen, right? There we are climbing through. It is a fallen tree here. Hey bro, let me help you. From behind, like this. Oh my, it's so heavy. There we go. Do you imagine how extreme is that? We are in the forbidden zone. Alex, what happened? He had a terrible overload and his luggage started falling from bike. The strings aren't sturdy enough. 
They are not supposed to hold this weight. It's okay, we can do it. Damn luggage. So we broke right on the entrance. It's over there. Let me show you the way in, guys. There are some spikes. And there is a hole. And we are supposed to enter it. Even Dima can do it well. How are we gonna do this? Though this entrance is discreet, it is just terrible for us. And the hole in the fence is too small. Don't let your wheels be stepped, friends. On you now. Yeah. Careful. It's so damn narrow. Rising up now. Yeah, come on. Oh my gosh, I can't lift it. I can't. I did it. Anton, was it hard? Now we are on the protected line. Hurry up, let's get moving. Well, friends, we are crossing the fence now. Let's go, it will be fun. Damn it, he's going to break something. Crap, but him screwed up again. We have crossed the border, and now we will try to go. There are the guys. Going? Yeah, let's go. This is it, guys. We are in the zone now. Turning on. Let's turn the throttle. All Starkers are afraid of this place, but there is no one here. We even can switch on the lanterns, but I don't want to scare others with it. There is a huge obstacle ahead. Now we have to overpass it with our heavy bikes. Done. I hope no one is going to see us. It is not a good idea to use lanterns here, but this place is just in the middle of nowhere, so we've decided to take a risk. Give some support from behind, guys. Let me help you. Vadim is crazy, like always. Calm down for now, please. Calm. Turn it off. I can predict all the comments now. The zone is something different from the normal life. Anomalies. How do you like the bike, Dmitri? Actually, it's okay. Everything is just as I expected. Yeah, show us how to do it. Now the electric bikes are the coolest thing in the Chernobyl zone. That's cool. It is just what we needed. We couldn't find a better vehicle. Your words do encourage me. That's extreme. Don't you regret? No, we live for it. He didn't fall, but... Oh, I knew that. I'm gonna kill myself like this. What makes you wiggle like this? I don't know, maybe just fresh air? Dmitry is trying to put his backpack on. You know what? I'm going to leave it like this. I mean it. Yeah, let it rest here, and here we go. Hate it. Anton's motor is behaving weird now, but reloading helps still. So we switch it off and on, and it's going. And the rain started. Let's go. Yeah, we have to go. We keep falling down. They say that once there was an ambush up ahead. How do you like the zone? It's your second time. Is it hard? The only thing matters now is this damn overload. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and all the rest is nice. Here we are, the old road. But this time we're going through ten times faster. Faster than we thought. Hey guys, can I throw away my bike? Please. Sure, if you want to stay here with it. Okay, okay. Right now you see everything better than I do. Because it is completely dark here. There is even no moon. Now we're using our bikes as the guide dogs, so if there is an obstacle, I would be safe. We've got plenty of time now. These fireflies are the only source of light here. It's moving. Its body shining. Let's set him free. Hey, connect a wire to it. The paradox is that this cam sees better than myself. Imagine that. Yeah, I know. Deeper? You mean I heard a sound? Oh my gosh. It's big deeper over there. I am tired of lifting it. The Chernobyl zone gives the emotions I can't tell in words. There is no more place like this. It is 1 am and we are going through the forest by bikes in complete darkness. And the night birds around us cry here alone. And these noises in the forest. It is the call of Pripyat. This place is unique. It is the only place we can get this experience. Oh, there is such a place? Write in the comments. Hey guys, I have some sand in my boots. Is that dangerous? Plenty of it. It's a disaster. Really? I drank some water in the mountains, and then I saw some worms in it. So I worry about my health. You may have some cesium-137 in your boots right now. It is damn dangerous. Really? Of course! Your legs may become damaged by now. 
kept us quiet here. The real danger is ahead. We're going to go along the central road, and this road is for the official excursions. And some bad security guys may use it too. First, we're going to sit here for 10 minutes to find out how often the cars go. Then we will go on the road and move stealthily, on the right. We will be watching the tops of the trees, because the lights of the cars are seen from distance on them. If someone sees a car, he must cry a car, and it's okay to be loud, because no one will hear it and we all need to hide quickly. Guys, just jump in the bushes carefully. The cars are seen from great distance. Lights are really bright, and let's go close to each other. I mean very close. Now we're going on the road, and Anthony starts his working night. <laughs> I have my songs on me right now. Let's go. It is the end. <laughs> it will be fun. Yeah, there we go. Switch the light off. What the hell? Turn it off. What happened? It's trash. Someone cried in the forest. Anthony turned on the light. But there was nobody. It happened too fast. We haven't noticed anything. I need some help. He needs some help. Yeah, sure. You're gonna help him, Alex, right? What's up? What are you doing here? Let it lie here. I can't carry it myself anyway. Let's do it. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. That's it. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's move. Yeah, that's it. We have to go. I thought there was a car, but it was Vadim. Vadim was turning the throttle, and his wheels are too big, cowards. There's a bridge ahead, and usually there is some security that catches stalkers. Now we have to decide if we go to check out the bridge or avoid it somehow. It will be better to swim the river on the boat. It will take us time, but we will not be caught. Going on the bridge is more risky. Actually, we can check the bridge. I think we'd better go across the bridge, because our load is very heavy. Quiet, quiet. It is just a forest. The sounds of zone. Well, we can hide somewhere there. Yeah, you can. Vadim went on the bridge like crazy. And we are one kilometer away from it in a secret place. We are standing on the road. And listening. Waiting for the sound of pursuit. It is quiet still. Oh my gosh. Guys? Yeah? Huh? Oh. We're here! Are you back already? Vadim is back from the recon mission. Turn on the light! What's in there, bro? I don't know, it's calm and quiet. Did you go to the bridge? I was on the bridge border. I was waiting for you there. <laughs> so you didn't do reckon, right? No. We were just waiting for you here. You are really far. Go closer! Don't leave us behind! Okay, no problem. We mustn't go there altogether, if there is a trap. Yeah, someone must go first. It's a pity you didn't go across the bridge. I just wanted... It's okay. If there is no one near the turn, we can go. Hush. A cry? It sounded like a cry. Let's make it cool. If there was a trap, you would hear nothing from here. Now Dmitry is going to go and look at the bridge. And when he's back... We will. Enough, let's calm down and stop scaring our subscribers. If you chose the boat, we would be on the other side now. Next, we went through this bridge at breakneck speed. There was no ambush. Well, friends, we have passed the most dangerous part. I like that we did everything smartly. Dima checked the bridge, if there was an ambush, went back and we just flew across this bridge. Did anyone see my sweater? Was it behind you? Yeah. Holy moly, it was tied to the side, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting cold here. We have moved from the tourist route, and now we are on the safe road. But we have to keep going. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. We are far from the central road now. It's all fine by now, and we are going really fast. Vadim says that in the house we spent a night last time, now leave some mutants. Do you believe in Chernobyl mutants, friends? I mean it, we left there some food and they came to find it. Let's be serious about it, please. We went to sleep and some crazy dude attacked me and my friends. We were really tired. And then we heard some noises. Mutants do exist and even Wikipedia tells so. This place looks familiar. There's a house with a staff, isn't it? Heating. It is the very place we spent a night in. A warm house. You know there are some huge logs lying here. 
Vlad threw some wood here, so no one could pass. And as a result, there is nothing. Yeah, and that means people visit this place, they do. By the way, if you climb on this bus stop, you may catch some internet signal. Just look at it, there are full lanterns. And we all look like some aliens. We should be careful around here. Last time some mutant attacked me. I tell you, that wasn't the news, and we were afraid of police. Yeah, we should be afraid of them. We're not gonna see the mutants from video games here, but the real mutants do exist. This dude also told us that sometimes the houses here use teleportation. Yes, but these are hallucinations, and they are real. People think so. Sometimes dudes go and see Pripyat in the middle of forest. Did you know that we are going to visit the gypsy house? And the engineer house, the tapper's house, the woodpecker's house too? You know the addresses? Dimir has a list. I'm sure there will be some cyber skin when we go to the tapper's. <laughs> Why are you laughing at it? Just imagine that he has it here. Never google it, guys. I warned you. The sky is beginning to lighten. A little. It is freezing cold. Just hear the sound. <coughs> Friends, let's go. It was dark still, and a deer appeared out of nowhere. It crossed the road with crazy speed. But the most exciting, Dmitry said stop, and this deer appeared in a second. If Dmitry stood two meters farther, this deer would crush into him. I saw it for the first time. This beast was as big as Hulk. Just look what happened to that forest. That is from radiation, I guess. Oh my. Let's make a halt. Dima's back is tired from heavy backpack. I am resting for the bike too. But the roadsides are the most radioactive, aren't they? Not really. It is worse outside the roadsides. I am on the road, I am safe. I would say the same to calm myself. A car! Anton is the funniest man of the team. That was hard, but he worked well. That was a prank. We shouldn't do it again. Never do this in the Chernobyl zone, it's too hard. Never lie about cars, guys. What do you think about these dead trees? It's radiation. I knew it. And the spines over there are just the same. So we are in the anomaly zone now, right? Do you feel this cold breeze? Jesus! I smell something different in the air. Holy zone! I see it for the first time like this. Just look at this. It's abnormal fog. It's anomaly fog. What do you think? Is it anomaly or not? Just take a look at this beautiful landscape. These pines are just awesome. We are moving to the 10 zone. I mean, we are in 10 kilometers radius from Chernobyl. There is almost no fence here. All destroyed. If it's called 10, it must be 10 kilometers to the city, right? It has some sense, but no. Now we have to go left for long. There, to the Belarus side. Then we'll be going back to Pripyat. Almost everyone knows this route. I just know that it may be interesting for you. You will never go there. Yeah, that will be interesting that, why on earth we have passed 60 kilometers? It is 60 kilometers on the meter, and we just reached the 10 zone. We are late a little. You're right, but we still have charge. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. Sunrise. Don't breathe, it is time to hold your breath. If you hold your breath... Yeah, I knew that! It is radioactive here. If you hold your breath, radiation doesn't work. I wonder what's the radiation right here. Oh my gosh, so many signs here. It's a chemistry maybe. Oh really? There was a village here, and it was buried. And another radiation warning. No, that village is on the other side. They installed here the sign that says don't dig, have radiation. Let's dig maybe. Vadim just suggested us a very stupid idea. To bring a metal detector and go for a walk here. Oh, there's the signs again and use a detector to find something extremely radioactive. We can also throw a magnet in the Pripyat river. How do you like it? That would be hard. There are so many illegal woodcutters. Though we are in the tan zone, and this zone has real radiation danger. That's a cool slope here, finally. We are saving power like this. 
we go down the hill for the first time, guys. It must be radioactive here, right? I don't mean to disappoint you, but they look like radioactive burials. It is radioactive waste. We keep stumbling on trees like this one. It blocks the road. That was Vlad. He cut down the street to stop the cops, imagine that! Look at this if you still think that our bags are not heavy. You help with your leg. Can I try too? Oh my gosh! You take some a boys for sure. I thought just the same thing. These are not steroids. My pills are okay. You mean just some super pills, right? We are almost there. Soon we'll be on the place when I lost my consciousness. You might mention that we've got a new bike. This one is a gift from our supporters, especially for the Pripyat trip. What are you doing, Vadim? Is there a speed limiter? No, we can go full throttle. What do you think about it? The first thing I can tell, it's really cool. On the road, for sure. And I love its brakes. What speed it can make? Around 45. And it has a nice seat. We're going to reach the final crossroad soon. And we must go really fast. We are almost in Pripyat. Where should we go? I don't get from what side we're entering Pripyat. Are we good, Anton? Yeah, it's cool. We made it fast. No one saw us. Actually, that was a dangerous moment. We didn't used to go with that speed in the zone, crazy speed. If anyone sees us here, that would be awful. This place is too open. Yeah, you're right. Is that the western checkpoint now? Eastern. Eastern? Well, friends, we're moving to prepare through eastern checkpoint. It is obvious that there was nobody lately. Just look at the road. So now we can move easy, no hurry. What happened to this forest? It disappeared from radiation or something. And these trees are dead as well. Possibly there is too much radiation because the territory wasn't cleaned well. I can't believe this, guys. Just look at the meter. We have passed 77 kilometers from the beginning. Walking here is impossible. Pedaling here without motor is too hard for one night. Electric bikes made the way easy and nice. Hey, friends. I have a personal request for you. Smash likes and subscribe, because we are doing it just for you. We do our best and strive for making unique videos here. We even got a camp that can film at night. The night road is dangerous and hard, and we are showing it all to you. And I think we deserve some likes. I know that you are the best, and you know that we love your friends. Oh, come on, Anthony, you are asking too hard. The only thing left to say, just ring this bell, friends. That is not hard, but it gives us motivation to film these crazy videos. There we are. I think we can crawl, can't we? That is a typical obstacle we face in Pripyat. How dare you to fall here, tree? Strike it with fury! I need your help, Vadim. We need your power, Vadim. Strike it with your fury, come on! Was it your leg that cracked? Did you break your knee? I just missed the target. Make this bridge enter the resonance. I got my hands dirty in moss. But moss is radioactive. We can also bypass it here. And why on earth are we standing here? Hey, look at it. Infection? You are injured once again. Why you are so unlucky? Holy moly, I need to clean my hands right now. Maybe we can drag bikes one by one all together? That may be a bad idea. Though there is no turning back. Will we pass this level? Sure thing. This slope is so steep. I'm not sure about the angle. 40 maybe. Well done. See the special technique of Master Vadim. I just want to try it like this. Careful. That was too loud. Damn pills. I shouldn't take so much. What do you mean? I took too many pills. I can barely lift it. Oh my gosh, they look at me like I'm a kind of junkie. Let's go, okay? That is the very moment, everyone. We are in Pripyat now. The motors are hardly working, almost no power left. Don't relax. Here comes the next difficulty level. With cops? There is a big hole in the road. I got it, they stole the cable. Thieves. Oh my god. The bridge of death. Nothing remained. 
can it. I'm okay. The ground sank under my feet. Good job. We are at the final fence. There is a wire here. We are entering the city now. There is a checkpoint. It is closed now. We are going through. Watchman's place here. It used to be guarded in USSR times. It's Pripyat. This is the entrance. Hey, where are we going to go next? Ukraine Street? Yeah, 24A. I can't see any buildings. Is that really Pripyat? You think we mixed up a town? It's just weird. It is the industrial zone now. I hear some humming. It is a substation. It is 400 kilowatts and it's working. Hey, do not make sounds, guys. There may be a watchman here. Garages. And some buildings. We have reached Pripyat. Oh my gosh! There's a doorway. Everything is overgrown. Oh my. Nature does take it back. It's a living image what nature does to abandoned places. We made it, guys! On e-bikes. No one can get there by scooter or by car. That is impossible. We're the first to come here by vehicles. I guess this one is completely abandoned. The route was 80 kilometers long. Other stalkers usually walk all this way long. The entire road is overgrown and the curb is overgrown with moss. Yeah, there are no excursions here. Just look at this building, it has 9 floors and half of it isn't wind. You say my emotions are not natural, but now you see that they overflow me. This place is like from Jumanji or something. It's like an abandoned city in the jungle. Oh my gosh, look at this entrance. It always entwined with wine. Oh yes, I can't believe it, but we are on the place. That is our entrance. No one can tell that someone is living here. Go check that out. My friends are hesitating, but I am going in. With my bike. What uh, That is a hell of an entrance, guys. I have a lantern. Let's go, buddy. I'm making it full throttle. What is waiting us in the stalker flat, you'll see it next time. And we are about to make something great. We want to put some electricity in this abandoned city and launch the ferris wheel. This motor is powerful enough to go upstairs. Don't forget to subscribe and you're gonna see this.